Welcome to Foundation Focus. I'm Tom Jones, the president of the St. Lucie County Education Foundation, and it's my pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, the Education Foundation is a 501c3 not-for-profit organization, and we were established over 25 years ago to solely support, by our charter, the St. Lucie County public school system. So we are the only 501c3 organization in the county that is dedicated solely to, to supporting and advancing education in St. Lucie County. What I'd like to do in this segment is summarize our activities since the beginning of the uh, school year and then give you a peek into what is, what, what is coming in early 2017. We follow the school calendar, so in August we were busy planning a celebration that we call the Welcome Back Celebration. And this is actually a picnic. And this is a picnic that was sponsored by our friends Gary and Susan Roberts at the Endless Summer Vineyard in North Fort Pierce. It's a picnic that we invite all district staff and teachers. It's free to all of them uh, as a chance just to get uh, as a chance to get together just before the school year begins. Uh, the picnic uh, includes a dinner, it also includes a wine tasting, and it also includes mini grants. One of our key charter charter items is to provide grants to our teachers and as we kick off the new school year each year we have raffles for what we call mini grants and these are grants anywhere from $100 up to $500 just to begin to provide seed money to the uh, teachers for classroom projects. It's also a lot of fun there are yard games and there's a band. Uh, this year we were really, really pleased to welcome um, Valak found, uh, Financial as a returning sponsor and then to welcome Mid Florida Credit Union as the lead sponsor and Mid Florida Credit Union has joined the foundation as a sponsor throughout the year and I would like to welcome them to the um, Education Foundation. As the school year progressed last year we began our teacher grant program and the teacher grant program is actually our single largest program each year. The teacher grant program is supported by a state matching grant and each year teachers have an opportunity to place an application to the foundation asking for funding for programs that further and advance public educational programs. This year the foundation worked with Mr. Gent and his cabinet and the school, and the school board to align our activities more closely with the strategies that were being employed by the by the school district. Um, as you probably know, the school district has a focus today on literacy, on STEAM, which is uh, science, technology, engineering, arts and math, as well as CTE, which is career and technical educational programs, and then also on programs that support graduation efforts. There's a big uh, movement uh, within the school district to increase our graduation rates, and the foundation is really proud to be a part of that effort. The teacher grant programs this year um, encompassed over 60, um, app, oh, actually over 90 applicants, and we awarded over 60 grants. And we're really proud this year to, to be able to increase the grant programs by 28%. The grant programs are funded by the generosity of, of the public like you. The public consists of individuals and corporations that see the need to further public education and through private sector donations we're able to gather money up, match it against the state matching grant program and then um, place those programs into the uh, teacher grant uh, items. And uh, I just like to discuss a little bit about what some of these programs are. Uh, it's really terrific. Uh, this year there's a focus on literacy and some of the programs will actually go towards funding a, uh, a specific mentor which will help a student in the K through uh, grade 3 level. Uh, we have learned that if a student is mentored in the early ages and is uh, provided with the opportunity to reach, prof uh, to reach proficiency in the, uh, in the grade level um, learning, reading rather, that they have a better chance of graduating high school. So we have shifted our resources into literacy programs. Uh, we also are working on programs that align with STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Each, we, each year we provide funding to the science fair. Uh, 
The science fair is an opportunity for students at all grade levels and at all levels to, uh, to participate in science fair. And those that are excelling at the science fair move on to the state science fair and then also move on to the international science fair. Each year, St. Lucie County School District has participants and winners in both the state level as well as the International Science Fair. So this is a, this is a continuing program for us, and we're really pleased to, con to fund this, this program. We also fund the History Fair or a program each year, and we also fund programs that are specific to graduation rates. Uh, each year, we uh, fund a program called First Generation, and First Generation is a program that focuses on students that have expressed an interest in going to college, but they might be the first in their, the first generation in their family's history to try to go to college. And we know that if you're not familiar with the college application process and you, and you don't have a mentor, uh, we can step in and through the school programs help the student along with that process. And this program has been growing each year. It started off in one high school and now it's expanded to several, several other schools. It used to focus strictly on students that are really getting ready to graduate in the 12th grade, but now we've drilled down and we're supporting programs for the uh, eighth grade. So students will have an opportunity to visit colleges, local colleges, and begin to think about perhaps uh, graduating from high school and then going on to college. We also have other programs that help graduation and we're also focusing on programs that um, support uh, troubled students. So this is a terrific program each year. It's our single largest program. It requires a great deal of funding. Although we provide about $64,000 a year in funding, the applications are really much larger than that, so the need is always greater than, than the funding. And uh, what I do as president of the foundation is reach out to the general public and raise money, which then is uh, qualified to match against the state matching grant program. So I would like to take this opportunity, even though the program just uh, completed, to ask you to please consider granting funds to the foundation which will be used for the teacher grant programs next year. So what we do is throughout the year, we gather up all the funds, we place an application with the state of Florida, and hopefully we receive a matching grant. Last year, our opportunity was to receive a matching grant of $60,000. We just weren't able to take all that money. So if, for instance, if St. Lucie County doesn't um, accept all of the matching grants, it goes back into a pool and is uh, then sent out to other districts. So my personal goal is to raise the full $60,000 each year, and then we will be fully matched at $60,000, and then provide a full $120,000 for our teacher grant program. Although I'm very proud of the $64,000 we raised this year, I would like that to grow. So I'm looking for your support. So please go on our website at www.efslc.org and use your credit card and, and place a, a, a grant. Grants start as low as $20, and if you uh, uh, place a grant for $20 per month for a full year, you will receive a free gift from the foundation. There are also sponsorship opportunities, so if you're in business or you own a business or you work for a business, there's an opportunity for your business to sponsor one of our teacher grant programs. So as the year progresses and the, and the, uh, the grant program just ended, we're also conducting several other campaigns. And there's one that's just ending right now. It's called Coupons for Classroom. Coupons for Classroom is a program that allows the student in each classroom to bring home a coupon book, which is filled with thousands of dollars of savings to restaurants and to merchants throughout the local area and this allows the parent to save money while supporting the Education Foundation. The uh, Coupon for Classroom program, the books sell for $25, and then the school keeps $10 of that, and of the $10, two goes right back to the actual classroom that sold the book, and the $8 stays within the school that supported the program. The $5 is returned back to the foundation, which goes to support our programming, and then $10 goes to the publisher. So th this is our third year 
Uh, we struggled a bit this year. The price of the book was raised to $25 and the sales were down a little bit. But we're actually entering today a phase two where we will be selling the books to a wider audience. So I would like to extend my thanks to all the principals and all the teachers, the bookkeepers, and everyone in the school staff for supporting this wonderful program. And uh, we will look forward to uh, coming back next year with another fundraiser. And uh, phase two, you will see the books being available for sale to the general public through many other outlets. Uh, I am planning on being at the Main Street Friday Fest Festival starting in December. And I will also mention this year, the lead coupon sponsor is the county fair. We all know that the county fair is one of the best county fairs in the state of Florida. Uh, many people uh, come from throughout the state and from outside the state just to attend this fair. Last year, as you might recall, the fair had lines backed up for miles just trying to get to the fair. Well, they've made some changes, and you'll see the lines moving much more rapidly this coming year, but they were also very generous in allowing us to place in our coupon book five coupons, I'm sorry, four coupons for $5 off each, saving $20. So it's a great value. It's a way to support education in the county, and it's also a great way to save some money as you, um, as you go to the fair this year. So uh, that, that is one of our other major uh, fun, uh, fundraising programs. Um, I'd also like to just spend some time talking about a, a program that we've held now for 17 years, and this is called Evening for Education. This is a wonderful program that was started by Beth Hoskins and, uh, and a group of individuals. And the idea was to celebrate public education through a lavish gala, a dinner, if you will. And uh, they've been we've been doing this for 17 years. This year, the gala will be on Saturday, November the 5th, at the Pelican Yacht Club. The Evening for Education program actually started at the Pelican Yacht Club, and this year we wanted to bring it back to this wonderful venue. Uh, this program is an opportunity for individuals and corporations to uh, sponsor a table or to buy a seat. It includes a, a lavish dinner, um, and it also includes a silent and uh, live auction. This year, the uh, board of the foundation and myself have really spent a lot of time trying to uh, have many, many more items than last year in the live and silent auction. So I think you'll, you'll really enjoy the dinner. It's a wonderful dinner this year, and uh, we have a record number of sponsors, so I'm expecting a record number of turnouts to the uh, dinner. Uh, the dinner, once again, is on Saturday, November the 5th, at the Pelican Yacht Club. If you would like to buy a seat, you can go online at efslc.org. You can click on the banner ad, and you can RSVP. There are also a few sponsorships available for corporations. Many corporations actually sponsor tables. And speaking of corporations, I'd like to thank our many sponsors, starting with Kaiser University. Leslie Kristoff, who was a guest at our, at our um, uh, a program a few weeks ago, or rather a few programs ago, um, is the president of Kaiser University in Port St. Lucie. And she's also the chair of the foundation. And this year, Kaiser University stepped up as our title sponsor for the Evening for Education dinner. I'd also like to sp uh, thank our gold sponsors this year, PNC and AT&T. PNC Bank is a special uh, benefactor this year. They have stepped up to one of the highest levels called the President's Inner Circle uh, benefactor level. And PNC is not only supporting the foundation with money, they're also supporting the foundation with resources, with volunteer staff, so special thanks to Eileen Pruitt, Senior Vice President, and Candace Loop, Senior Vice President at PNC Bank. And they will have a table at the Evening for Education dinner. So I wanted to uh, thank them and welcome them to the Evening for Education. AT&T is a sponsor at a very high level at the President's Platinum Club benefactor level. And AT&T has a, a table and Mr. Ian Cotner, the regional director of AT&T, will host his table. And we will also welcome Ronnie Hightower, who is a graduate last year of uh, the St. Lucie County School District and a recipient of the AT&T Minority Scholarship. And we'll be hearing from Ronnie Hightower, 
who is a wonderful young man who has, uh, um, in face of great hardship, he graduated from school with really good grades, and he's now uh, a student at Indian River State College, and his hope is to become a civil engineer. So I just think it's a terrific success story, and I reached out to Mr. Hightower just a few weeks ago. He graciously accepted uh, coming to the, uh, um, to the uh, dinner. I'd also like to thank our silver sponsors, the law firm of Dean, Mead, Mitten, and Zwemer, Steve and Beth Hoskins, Jackwood and Sons Construction Company, and Your Voice Weekly Newspaper. Bronze sponsorships include Culpepper Interpreting, FBMC Financial Benefits, FP&L, Gold Coast Credit Union, Houghton, Mifflin, and Harcourt, the Maloney Family, Martin Health Systems, and Tim and Bobby Ritter. Also rounding out the sponsorships are our program ad pro, uh, sponsors, uh, Burger Tombs, Elam, Gaines, and Frank, local CPAs, Seacoast Bank, the St. Lucie CTACU, which is the school union, Wells Fargo Bank, and the CPA firm of D. Bartolomeo, McMee, Hartley, and Barnes. My thanks to all of these sponsors and to the many, many individuals who have purchased tickets to attend this terrific gala. So we're looking forward to that. It's coming up very soon. There's still time for tickets. We already have, as I speak, over 150 attendees. I think we maxed the Pelican Yacht Club out at uh, 200. So make your reservations on efslc.org, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the gala. We also hired um, a professional auctioneer this year, and the MC, the Master of Ceremonies, will be Todd Mowry, um, a uh, St. Lucie County District Commissioner. So it promises to be a great event, and I'll see you all at the evening for education. And now I'd like to just take a, a peek into the early part of 2017. Uh, it's been a busy year for us, as you can see, and there are still a lot more to come. Uh, coming soon will be our Night of the Stars event, which will be held, held on February the 18th at Lincoln Park Academy. And this is a very special, uh, uh, a very special event. Um, actually, okay. in our charter as a foundation, it states that we will recognize right. and support so the employees time, and the professional staff of the school district. And we do this with the support of Candace Stone, who is assistant principal at Lincoln Park Academy. And Candace Stone organizes a wonderful event each year called Night of the Cold Stars. And, that, and the Night of the Stars recognizes Alapata the first class, year Teacher of the Year. It recognizes the Distinguished Minority of the Year. It recognizes the School-Related employee, employee of the Year. Elementary. And it culminates in the Teacher of the Year. And it's really a, a secret event in, in, its, in its early stages, in the formative stages, where Video the staff down. has an opportunity to Don't nominate win. and then vote on, on these various categories. Uh, an entourage goes no out with balloons and surprises the, the nominees, and then there's a, a secret ballot taken, and then at the event, the Night of the Stars event, we surprise the, uh, the individuals by uh, making the uh, special announcement in front of close to a thousand people. And it's also televised live by WLX-TV. So it's a terrific event. It's a lot of fun. It's also a significant fundraiser for the Education Foundation. We have an opportunity each year to welcome sponsors. And so if you're inclined to sponsor the event, it starts out with a, um, with a wonderful uh, photo op opportunity as well as a reception where we have um, uh, food available. And then we all march into the auditorium at Lincoln Park Academy, which is uh, dressed, dressed up like a... Um, um, like a, um, um, an award ceremony, and then uh, we, we start to do the, the announcements. And this year, I've already been working on some very special sponsors and some very special gifts that the sponsors will bring to the Night of the Stars. So mark that down on your calendar. That's February the 18th at Lincoln Park Academy. And um, I'd also like to begin to talk about, and I started this already at previous shows, to talk about a new program that I'm very excited about. This program, pro program is called the Star Scholars and Workforce Readiness Program. In our charter, it actually states that we will do mentor programs. Now, we have always supported other mentor programs, but the foundation itself has never actually conceived and managed a mentor program. 
So this year, the board authorized the creation of the Star Scholars and Workforce Readiness Program, and this program works in conjunction with the Florida Prepaid Scholarship Foundation, as well as the Consortium of Education Foundations. Uh, the education foundations throughout the state of Florida have gotten together, and we have a consortium, which is sort of a trade group, and it's an opportunity for us to, to trade ideas and concepts. It's also the organization that manages the um, teacher uh, matching grant program, the, 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 the state matching grant portion of that. It's a wonderful group of individuals. And Mary Chance, the president, came to me and said, you know, Tom, there's a program that's called Star Scholars, which mentors students to help them graduate. And I think maybe we can talk about this and maybe we can focus this for St. Lucie County. And St. Lucie County actually has about 70% of its students qualifying for free and reduced lunches. And many of these students are called at risk. That means they're struggling to, uh, to graduate. And we wanted to create a program that would work with these students at the junior and senior high school level and help inspire them to graduate high school. And we actually focused on, this is the, 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 uh, the part of the program that is really different from any other uh, Star Scholars program. Today at, in St. Lucie County, we actually focus the program at the CTE level, the career and technical educational level, and then we match the student with a business that is in a similar industry. So an example would be if we match uh, a car dealership with struggling students in the automotive uh, technology program. And so what we have done is we've reached out to industries, we've asked them to become a business star mentor and to help a student learn skills that are needed in today's work environment to hopefully inspire the student to graduate. And also it provides the student with the opportunity to get to know their business sponsor and hopefully even obtain a job when they graduate. And that's the workforce readiness portion of the program. So I've partnered with the Big Brothers and Big Sisters and also we partnered with the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club has stepped forward and they are our mentoring program. So the uh, Will Armstead and his staff are supporting the curriculum along with uh, the CTE professionals to develop this curriculum which will launch in January. And I'd also like to thank our many sponsors that have stepped forward. The list is growing as we speak, but today we have Treasure Coast Lexus, Bank of America, PGA Golf Club, St. Lucie Battery and Tire, Wells Fargo, PNC Bank, and many more coming. Our hope is that to align these individual businesses with specific students in the CTE program, inspire them to graduate and hopefully learn about the skills that are needed today in the modern workforce and allow these students to graduate and get a job. Just to give you an example, if you're in the automotive field and you graduate from high school, you would probably start at a dealership at about thirty to $35,000 a year but it gets even better than that. If you go on to, to college part-time at say Indian River State College and you earn additional certifications in the automotive area, you could very easily inside of several years make over $80,000 a year. That's the potential. And there are many fields like that. So we want to introduce those opportunities to the students that are struggling, inspire them to graduate, and help them get a great job and move on to a wonderful career. So this is called the STAR Scholars and Workforce Readiness Program. And I'll mention one other thing. There's an opportunity when the student graduates to obtain a fully prepaid scholarship as they go on to college, perhaps part-time. So the concept is that you would graduate from high school, get a job, start working, and if you're going to, say, Kaiser University or Indian River State College part-time and you're staying in the community, we would be there for a fully prepaid scholarship, which is um, supported by the Florida Prepaid College Foundation. And this scholarship is a matching grant scholarship, so they put up half the money, and all we have to do is a foundation, along with our business partners, and raise the other half of the money. So it's, it's very doable and has a huge impact. My hope is in the years to come, the Star Scholars Program will become a significant opportunity for businesses to hire students uh, from our local schools work ready. So I'm very proud of, of, of that program. and. Um, as we wrap up, I'd like to also mention 
that in uh, la the latter part of, of 2017 for the school calendar, uh, we will be continuing with our scholarship program. Each year, the educa Education Foundation supports about 60 scholarships. And these are scholarships that come from individuals and they come from businesses. And we are also a resource for students to learn about many other scholarships that we're aware of. So our scholarships guide, which is very popular, and I get phone calls all the time, will be published beginning in mid-November. It will be available on our website. Just click on scholarships and then click on the scholarship guide and it's a downloadable copy and it will explain all the scholarships that are available in our market area as well as scholarships that are fully supported by the foundation. And the scholarships that are supported by the foundation will have an application process which the foundation then uh, helps uh, um, uh, review. So this is a terrific program. I'm very proud of it. Each year it grows, and as the relevancy of the foundation grows, we're looking forward to awarding many, many more scholarships, as well as scholarships coming from the STAR Scholars Workforce Readiness Program. So we've had a busy calendar year. It's not over yet. We're not even quite halfway through it, but I'm very excited about the school year. I'm very excited about the new direction that Mr. Gent, the superintendent, has taken in focusing on literacy, STEAM, CTE, and graduation rates. I know the school district will really increase its graduation rates with the support of the Education Foundation, and I'm looking forward to our business sectors stepping in and helping our students uh, get jobs as well as obtain scholarships as they move on to college. So thank you very much. I'd like to thank WLX-TV, our partners, Craig Jerome and his staff, for being so generous of their time and talent, and I'd like to... Uh, um, ask all of you to think again about uh, joining us at the Evening for Education Gala and also think about supporting our scholarship programs. Thank you very much.